Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. It's raining down upon the all-seeing eye of doom. The all-seeing eye of doom all sees. So we had a hundred thou or so in the bank. Um, that got quite rapidly spent on filling in this evil monstrosity. Garbage trucks. Very way. Yes, the crack of doom thunder. I'd done recently was as I plane in here and get the traffic moving. Rather there was gas to change. There's not a lot I can really do about it. Um there's just gonna be a lot of buses coming through. It's a bit of a shame that they can't get them to all in off come in that way. Station. The noise you hear that yeah, many present dinging is the happy noise of uh, my citizens that grading the places because these people they're really happy to be living here. They're quite pleased. They're generally getting on with life and they're just, you know, happy and peaceful. folk moving in down here, well, they don't know the horrors and the unpleasantness they've let themselves in for. Um, do we have enough power for now? Plenty of water. Do I have enough money to start looking at investing in a new power plant? Push the power button and find out how much one of these costs. 12,000. I do. Let's add one. There. So that we actually have more power. Because this lot is going to produce an awful lot more demand commercial. The more commercial demand we have, the happier I am. The happier a mama set I am. So these people are slowly but surely beginning to pattern in. I think we can probably leave the lower part of the lower right in. But I think we certainly don't need those power lines. So we just have to quickly do a quick zoom and a new marquee thing because that was unhelpful. Well, at least I know where the uh, extra spare spots are. Right click, right click, click, click. Right click, 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 paint. Does it work? Yeah, it does work anyway. Right click, paint, right click, right click, right click, right click, paint, 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 right click, and paint. So the other thing I'm actually going to add in, that time to by a little bit, is some pathways connecting. What's that? That's a school. That's really some kind of school. So I'm going to put some pathways that tip the end of my roads together. Let's do that one straight. Let's have it up the other way, shall we? Let's grab that one. Why? Because I would like for my citizens to be able to walk places. Putting in some pathways. Will enable them to do so. Anyway, it just helps tidy up the place as well. You can tell I've summoned the evil gods by the amount of thunder I suddenly have rattling around inside my city.
Yes, you can rapidly see people merrily wending their way between and using these little connecting paths that help a great deal. Because apparently they're not capable of just walking cross country by themselves. You've got to guide the buggers. Don't think I need you anymore, but I will need that one because apparently that can't power itself by itself. Go back to putting it. So my cash flow is rapidly coming up again. We're making a lot of money. So the investment down here in our little subtropical hellhole is apparently paying off. Let's uh, just go back on that one. Really? Doesn't like me letting build in it, so. There we go. Pleasing. Pleasing, 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 pleasing. Big town. Big town, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got some new tax audit ta tax ooh. Taxation policies. We can build a metro. Bit pointless in a city this small. Harsh prison sentences. So new zones. High density. We've got high density. So we can now build ourselves a university, a metro station, a prison, and an incineration plant. Okay, well, I think we might get started on the incineration plant because we've already got one of our this is full and I would like it to be unfull so I think the quick thing to do would be to put an incineration plant in over here so I will do that because one of the things about the problem with these things being full is you can't move them when they're full Let's put it as physically close as I possibly can. That should also provide us with a fair bit of extra power. And let's set that to empty the building. So that should produce a shed load of trucks. We're going to go around the corner and then come to this. <laughs> so once it gets some garbage, we'll have a little bit more power. So you can see that this is actually starting to fill out a bit more as more and more of our workers have become educated. It's vast amounts of capacity. Jellyfish horrors. <laughs> Just, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's filling up. It's full of people. It's full of happiness. No, it's not full of happiness. It's full of horrors. That's why I called it jellyfish horrors. I want it to be horrible. I don't want happy people in my city. Well, not that bit of the city. I want unhappy people in that bit of the city. But you notice that our resid our demand for commercial is uh, currently outstripping our capacity to meet it. So I think it's time. New zone available. Yes, high density. But the high density area is going to be over here. This is going to be still going to be maintaining focus on the low density. Low density. This is going to be touristy. Once I actually get the tourist specialization unlocked, which we have done, leisure, leisure and tourism. Ah, so this will be touristy areas and then leisure up and down the center. So what we're going to start off with doing is, yep, new zones available. We are going to create a new district down the center of our city. I'm going to get the district painting tool. We're going to grab the small one. The small one. What's this one? That's enormous. The small one. And we are going to start painting a new district. Let's grab. That's a bit too big. So let's start. Let's have a look. Where have I got actually commercial zones? There, there, and there. Painting, 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 painting. So. That's what this, that, yes I have noticed I have a new zone, and we might start painting with it. So basically just going down the side of here, all the way down the side of this road. There we 
go. Um, that's everyone moving in. That's the reason there's a traffic jam there. <laughs> Not so bad as effective people using it as an excuse to turn around. We That was a bit quick going up and down the centre of our city there. I hope that it wasn't too nausea-inducing for you, ladies and gentlemen. So let's carry on painting down the edge of here. Why are we doing this? Because I'm going to have a strip all the way down the centre of this district of the city. It's going to be designated as commercial. And designated... Uh, I don't think that's wide enough down there. Let's make that a bit wider. Really make sure it is the full zone width. What we can get down here is going to be, let's go back to the zoning, do a bucket fill. Get all of this filled in. And then we're going to go to our cities. Oriental height. No. No. What do you think? My darling ocelot is a good name for a... What animal has fun? What's a legendary animal? Monkey. Monkey. Monkeys have fun. Okay. So we have our name for our strip. Our strip is now... The monkey strip. It sounds, I don't know, slightly rude, but then it is going to be a particular type of area. Commercial specialization. Leisure. So this should convert. So all the commercial that's going up and down in this area is going to go away. And be replaced with... I'm just going to keep tidying this edge up a bit. And be replaced with shops. Not shops. Bars. Pubs nightclubs, that kind of stuff. The kind of things that um, you get for your ledger specializations. Yeah, that definitely should have come to the It might grab a few other bits and pieces here and there. So we should have and start to see things like bowling alleys, arcades. So a vast amount of the interesting bits of that should all get rapidly filled in by our waiting peoples. So... Now we've got a large chunk of cash, and we suddenly have a reason for people to be coming along and doing some things, and we're looking at doing a commercial district. It's time we put our taxi facility in. So there's our taxi station. It's going to go out near our bus station, and we're going to have a taxi stand. Ooh. Can we fit it in? See, I was really hoping there would be a sneaky place I could fit it in. Um... I'm going to put it actually on a dedicated slight side road because I don't want all the taxis piling up too much on our main road. So let's grab that and let's see if we can find a road. That's bus taxi. That's a six lane road. That's a motorway. Those are spin chains. Let's grab one of those and straight line. And. Uh, there's a nice big gap on there, I'm not going to fuss too much about it. Just stick that out like that. Done. And then we will put our taxi stand That's not useful. Decent taxi stand has to be where people are going to be has to be a position where I'm going to have to expect people to be moving backwards and forwards. So, sticking it in there makes sense. And I'm going to put it... Do I have... Yes, there are crossings. So I'm going to put it in there. And I'm hoping that the taxis will fall off the road when they're going to be using it. Operating normally. So it makes sense to me to put a taxi stand near the buses. Because the buses are the hub of our transport system, the network of our city. So the monkey strip is rapidly filling in, and it's com filling all this in. It's completely resolved my demand. So I've still got all these people piling in to move into uh, the horrors. 
rapidly filling up. Getting a oh thirteen thousand cash wise. Yes. So we've got all this sorted out. Running out of power. Do we have any new power buildings? We've got an oil power plant, a coal power plant. No, nope, let's carry on with our renewable fun. Let's um actually put a couple more of these in. Get some space in there to so that they're not blowing up too much. There we go. Hmm. There's some anger bottles there. Let's um Remove these so that they're in a. No, I'm gonna have to go straight above. Straight above. Straight above. There we go. Grand. So that should solve that bit of the power problem. How are we doing? Oh, water's on its running edge. So let's do what we do with the water, which is grab a wind turbine. Move him around the corner, grab a window where they're going. Move him around the corner. Grab one of these. Plug it in. Did it actually connect or not? No. Tiny pipes. Tiny pipes for all. And more poop. Such is the lot in life. We don't get these until 14,000 people. So it's only when you get 14,000 people you actually gain the ability to, you know, not poop yourself in this thing. Fire department, police department, education, university. Metros. I don't think the city's just simply not big enough for a metro. Um, did we get any more of these facilities? No, but these are all fishing tours and the like. I think we'll probably be looking at putting in our touristy district as our next major expansion. So I suspect that might come. Yes, so our ore fields are now full. So, it is on fire. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. We're trying to respond to burning buildings. <laughs> our oil, our ore fields are now full. So let's just quickly, there's a button over here which is import exports. So everyone in this area is importing ore. So it immediately tells me that we need to expand this area because it's telling me that there once was ore, and we have mined it out. So, let us start building some more roads. Yeah, I think, as much as I'm happy that with this, how this is working, this needs to be relayed out traffic-wise. I am not convinced about the shape of this. I think it's done the job we wanted it to do for now, and now we've mined all the ore out from underneath it. I think it needs to be reorganized with a much better central strip of roading, because this, I pointed with my finger, this area here is just going to become a, an absolute bottleneck. In fact, it already is an absolute bottleneck. Just need to check the tracking button again. And see, that's mostly just buses. That's not actually jammed. That's not jammed. That's not jammed. That's moving freely. That's busy, but that's because it's kind of a short interchange. So now actually getting, I'm starting to get cars just spawning over there. Okay, so I think we might need to look at sorting this out a bit because traffic's not flowing well enough in and out of this district. Hmm. Disappointing. Okay. Well, we'll quickly do that, and then we'll look at something else. So can I... I can't move this, because there's dead people living in it. Okay. Well, that's going to restrict my options a little bit. So let's see what we can do about putting in a nice, expensive, one-way road. Should try putting a two-way road in for starters, shall we? Can I put two railroad in from there? I really should be able to. It's not liking the angle, apparently. Let's 
up the capacity on that, and in doing so, I see this isn't representative right now because I kind of emptied it a little bit. So everyone kind of vanished, which immediately resolved partially the problem. So the ominous tolling. So I'm hoping as people get settled in and get themselves sorted out that it will overall get better. But we'll have to wait and see. Can I upgrade that road? I can. Let's um just make those ones there and there a bit larger. I put a bus stop there. That was not the brightest move I've ever made. Modify line. Line colour. You are the white line. And I will move that bus stop from directly outside the fire station to outside the skate park. There's just so many people moving into the district. It's just filling up. An awful lot of this traffic in cars should decrease over time. Um, yeah, and that's full on passengers. Should drastically decrease over time as people move into the area, because the area is not still not actually full. There's still plenty of spaces and bits and pieces left over. But yeah, as you can see, our leisure district is kind of resolving, filling itself out. But yeah, okay. Yay, so much bus traffic. So much traffic. <laughs> it's just busy, this city, or this bit of the city. It's just a bit busy. Um, I think it might be upgrade time. What's that? Six lane with bus lanes. Yeah. Not the most efficient solution, but it should just mean there's that little bit more space. And it means my buses should be able to get where they need to be going just that little bit easier. Actually, I don't think that I want bus lanes north of there. Because I simply don't have enough buses running in that direction. The majority of my bus routes come weaving in from over here. It's only really the green line that's of interest for this area and the black line which is the long loop at the top I mean, to be honest I could look at moving the black line it's got to stop there that's why it goes that way could look at trying getting it off all of the side roads but yeah all right thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen i've been the marmoset this has been city skylines these are my bus routes this is the jellyfish horrors this is dalmatian parks please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching me create monstrosities against public planning thank you very much for watching